Hello, this is Paula Booker. We're going to go over very quickly how to create an opportunity in Microsoft CRM. As you can see by the screen, I am using the website version. This is the easiest way to create an opportunity. Um, there's also lots of other ways that we can go over. However, this one is probably the fastest and the most efficient in my mind since I've done it always. <laughs> on every single way you can do it. Anyway, this is our dashboard and here's our web address up here. On the new Microsoft out, uh, CRM, on every single page you will see this bar, this toolbar. It doesn't matter where you are in the system, you'll see this toolbar. There's a little plus sign on the toolbar. That's our quick create, um, quick create button. So to create a new opportunity in the system, I would click that button and then instantly these things are put down on there. We can make a new account, we can make a new contact, we can make a lead, a case, a phone call, an email, an appointment, a task. And in this case we're going to choose opportunity. So I'll click on that and the menu will pop down. The menu is very complete. Everything you need to create an opportunity and do it well is right here. All of the items that are asterisked with the star, those are required items. You cannot save your opportunity unless these fields are filled out completely. So it won't let you save it and it'll tell you that it's missing some information and it will not let you save the opportunity unless you've got those red dots um, filled in. The topic is the first thing you fill in. Now that's important because when you're looking at your list of opportunities you want to be able to identify your opportunity right away. So you want to make the opportunity the topic something that you're going to remember and as soon as you see it it's going to remind you of what that opportunity is all about. I like to do my topics this way. I type in the manufacturer, I type in the distributor that I'm working with, and I type in the end user. And then, if it's a particular product that I'm talking about, I'll type that in too. That way I know at a glance that this is an opportunity with Ingersoll Rand, Fastenal, and Pillsbury, and we're talking about the W7150. So, my distributor would be Fastenal. Now, some of you know that I have the national accounts in CRM listed already like this. We want to know where this Fastenal is. We don't want to just say Fastenal. We want to pinpoint it to a specific store. So I'm going to go Fastenal-Maple-Row and hit enter. Immediately you see Fastenal-Maple-Grove, Maple Minnesota. That's the one that I want to select. Alright, who am I working with at the Fastenal store? I'm working with a gentleman by the name of Chris DeBergston who also happens to be my son. And yes, he does work at that store. So, that's my contact person. There's my distributor name. Next, I go to the end user company. Well, that's Pillsbury. You don't have to type in the whole word. Like in this case, I'll just type in pill. And it came up right away, Pillsbury. So that's what I want. Now, I haven't visited Pillsbury yet, so I don't know who the contact person is for that company. So I, for now, I'm going to leave that blank. Once I find out, I can go back and fill that in. The supplier, once again, I don't have to type in the whole name. I just can type in Ingersoll. Several Ingersolls come up, but I know I want Ingersoll Rand, this one. The account type, well, I'm visiting an end user, so I'll select end user. The product, we already said, is a W7150. The industries, Pillsbury is a food company, so I'll use food service, but as you can see by the drop down menu, there are lots and lots of possibilities. And if you don't see, if you see a possibility that you use often um, and it's not on that list, you let me know I can add more. Type of call, well it's going to be an end user visit. But again, there's a drop down menu, there's all sorts of things you can choose from. Where did this opportunity originate from? Well, in this case, the Fastenal local distributor gave me a call. Now, I could put local distributor, or I think I could also do phone call. Could you do either one? Or maybe he emailed me, so I could even use 
I couldn't even say email. So that's where the operated, uh, opportunity came from. Is there a tool trial that's going to be scheduled? This is an Ingersoll Rand thing. Uh, yes or no. In this case, no. Are we ordering any samples? In this case, no, because I already have the samples, so I'll say no. Competition. I'm going to say DeWalt. Is it a Werewell site survey? Once again, yes or no, and no it's not because it's Ingersoll Rand. Now, how much money do I think this is going to generate? I'm going to say this they're going to buy $10,000 worth of these tools if they decide to buy them. When is this opportunity going to close? When am I going to get the PO? Open up a little calendar here. I'm going to select the end of November. Probability to close? Well, right now we're just we're just doing it, so I'm just going to say we just qualified and confirmed the prospect. Drager regional salesperson. If this was a Drager opportunity, I would be able to select my salesperson. IR product category. Since this is an IR opportunity, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. And it is a cordless, let's see where it is, cordless tool. Okay. Now, most important thing, the description. Now, this is where you can go and tell yourself and everyone else who's looking at this exactly what the opportunity is. If you had an email, like I said, I had an email from Christopher Bergston. I could copy and paste exactly what was in the email for my description, and that would be a reminder. In this case, I'm just going to type it in. said here, Christopher Fastall called me to assist him in the sale to Pillsbury. They're looking at purchasing 10 to 20 cordless impact tools. I suggested the W7150 and we will be making a visit on Wednesday, October 29th. Okay, if I quickly look over this, all my items in red, there's something filled in for them. So I should be able to save this with no problem. So I'll hit save. And yes, the record was created. So now I can view the whole record and what it looks like in the opportunities. There it is, my whole entire record. If I scroll down a little bit here, I could go down to notes and activities. And I could, here's that little plus sign again, another quick create. I could make an appointment. Because I said that we were going to be meeting on the 29th. So immediately I could make an appointment, um, and that'll go on my Outlook calendar. It's already tied to my opportunity. It's right there. I just say appointment. That's just to remind myself of what the appointment's for. And go down here, and I can change the date. See that it's at 10 a.m. And then I can save and close it. Now, if I look under my activities, there's my appointment. It's tied right in there to my opportunity. And you can do the same thing with an email. You could send an email from here if you wanted to. Or you can even call, uh, record a phone call that you made about this opportunity. And now if I look in my opportunity file, I 
there's my Ingersoll Rand opportunity right there in my file. So you can see that I have it right there and made. And that is how you enter an opportunity into CRM. Thank you very much.